Hello and welcome to day 151 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. All right, let's find an opponent for today. Uh, I'm kind of on a slump here, so I took a few days off. All right, I'm going to try the Sicilian, see what happens here. So, will they play the open Sicilian? They do. Okay, so. I'm attacking this pawn. They'll bring the knight out. Usually they could bring this pawn out. Okay, the knight is out. And now the Nidorf, which can be complicated. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so they play here. Um, I think I will attack the knight. See what they do with that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, attack the knight again. Now, if he captures my pawn or my knight, my pawn will recapture, and that won't be bad for me because then, okay, he retreats. Hmm. Okay, so now I probably want to develop uh, this. So we'll go there, try and put a little bit of pressure. Uh, well, one of the things you want to do, it's not pressure, but put more firepower on this D5 square uh, because one of the ways for black to get a decent game or a little bit uh, more room in the Sicilian defense is to try and push to D5. So right now I have this backwards pawn, which is not so great. Um, if I immediately push here and he captures and my knight captures, you know, does that work? So if I go here, he captures, my knight captures, uh, then I'm forking both of his pieces. All right. Mm, the question is, do we want to just push that immediately? Hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't know if that was the best move, uh, but usually it's a good idea to play d5 if you can. Hmm. Okay, so now we can go ahead and attack uh, the bishop and the knight here. Okay, now do we attack with the queen? That is the question. Um, or the bishop? I'm going to attack his queen, I think. Okay. And see, by playing that d5 pawn move, it kind of frees up black's position here. Uh, now, if he captures and I go here, um, you know, if he comes after me, okay, so he just goes there. Now we can attack this pawn. He blocks. Uh, the question is, do we want to give up our bishop pair? Um, hmm. We could just take out this knight and then castle queen side, maybe. All right, so I can slow down now. I have plenty of time. So what can we do? We could try and check. We could just pick off this knight, maybe. Hmm, 
we pick off the knight and he captures. Okay, then we could go here. He might capture towards the center. We could check, but it probably wouldn't be good to, you know, to take is a mistake, as they say. So I probably need to, maybe I go here, checking. Problem is he's going to block me and then I'm gonna to have to retreat back, I think. Ah, man, it's kind of tricky. All right, we'll go there. I'm just thinking about it and I might as well just go ahead and do it. We check them. Now, if he blocks with this pawn, uh, we could just go ahead and take out the knight. Okay. So we take out the knight. So we'll do that. Which, I don't know, that gives up my bishop pair, so maybe that wasn't the greatest move there. Hmm, I probably do need to go ahead and get castled. Okay, so now what are we doing? Um, coming back this way? Or do we go all the way? Okay, I think we're going to go all the way to here. And then we're going to get ready to castle. Um, if he tries to bring his rook in to stop me, you know, well, to take control of the D file, well, then we're probably going to have to go here and try and prevent him from taking control of it, you know, or jumping down to uh, this square here, D7. You know, if is okay. Oh, so that's a little dangerous. Okay. Well, I guess we're castling, getting our other rook involved. Okay, so let's go after. Hmm. Well. Let's see, let's see. We need to try and get rid of one of his pieces here. All right, guess we're going there. The only problem is this rook is not really doing much here because, okay, so, hmm. All right, we pretty much have to do something about him. So let's go ahead and trade down and fight here. Okay, now the bishop is probably a better move. Because you know, dropping the knight back, the knight takes longer to move. But the bishop, we drop the bishop back because the bishop can reposition you know, all the way across the board in one move if it has to. So, hmm. what do we want to do here? These two bishops could be dangerous, you know, especially if the position kind of opens up some more. All right, all right. 
Hmm. Okay. We need to do something here. Need to do something. Um, well, we could just move forward with our king. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, you know, if he checks with his bishop, I mean, I guess we could block. Okay, so that was a pretty decent move. Um, hmm. All right, I should slow down a little bit since I still have plenty of time and we're in the end game. So. Should I go here? Maybe. You know, maybe I go there. Just kind of wait and see what he'll do. And I have to get my king into this game more. So I probably need to put this bishop here. And then here, maybe. Okay, this lets me get rid of a pawn, I guess. But the problem is he's going to have a pawn majority over here. So I probably need to go ahead and just pick that off. Okay. And now... Um, go ahead... Go there, try and centralize my bishop a little more. Hmm. All right. So now. I just go here, try and get my king up into the game. You know, if he captures, he's going to have this crazy pawn majority. Um, all right, we'll just go there. That way my king can kind of start moving forward. Okay, well, probably need to get this. Ah, do I want to do that, though? Because if he goes there, I go there. All right, I think we'll just centralize like that. And we're kind of holding... We're kind of holding these pawns back because if he pushes one, then we can capture uh, with you know, the knight or the bishop. Now we can get our king up into the game here. Hmm. So he, I mean, the obvious thing for him to do is to probably start moving his king forward. So we need to get our king up here into the game immediately. Now, maybe... Okay, he stopped me from moving, so I need to get my king moving up there. Um, it 
but he really has my king kind of closed off. So, do I attack his bishop maybe? No, I can't. So, do I go there? Just see what he does. Okay. Then I go here. All right, I need to figure out how to keep his keep his king out of my position. See, he's going to end up having that passed pawn. Hmm. All right, we'll just bring that up. All right, well, now we can push forward. To there. So that kind of helped us. problem is that he could run back the other way. All right, so we'll go there. Ah, this pawn is going to be a weakness, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking too good. This person is playing pretty solid in the end game here. I mean, I have this past pawn. I mean, maybe I drop my knight over here attacking the bishop. Ah, uh, the problem is if... Okay, so he goes that way. I'm pretty much forced to do that. All right, well, now, what do I do here? Huh. Okay, time to sit and think a minute, because I still have plenty of time. But I don't know, it's not looking good because my bishop, his bishop is more active than mine. And this pawn is really trapped. If his king moves forward, I could go here. You know, and that might work to my advantage. So I probably just need to move my bishop then try and get my king up here. Oh man, he is just really pushing my pieces out though. Hmm. I 
might be forced to go all the way back to here though all right we're looking at last resort options here um we pretty much have to move our bishop that's the only thing uh, that we have available and we have to stay on this line to help protect this so i don't know maybe that is what we're being forced to do here I have to do that, I think. Then try and get my king over. The problem is this. So I have to come up here, here. So I need one, two, three moves. He only needs one, two, three moves. All right. Well, that kind of opens things up a little bit. Hmm. Okay, am I forced to go after that or do I move the bishop up to here? Do I go here? All right, I guess we're going after that. Now, what should he do? Probably just capture with his bishop. Oh, he goes with the king. Okay, well that allows my king to move forward. here okay now the question is do I go up here then here or do I immediately go after this pawn so maybe I immediately go after the pawn. All right, so we'll do that. We'll go after the pawn. All right, was that a mistake? Ah, was that a losing mistake there? If I capture, he's going to go there, and it's going to take me one, two, three, four, to promote versus his one, two, three. Hmm. But I'm kind of forced to do that, aren't I? I? I think I lost again, man. I mean, I have to go there. And then he's going to pick off those other pawns. Okay.
What if I go here? He just captures. So I, I think I lost now. It's pretty much lost. See, now all he has to do is just start picking those pieces off. Yeah, he'll just pick that off and then I lost. Yep, I might as well resign. Lost in the end game because there's no way to stop him. Um, you know, we just move forward a little bit. So, I don't know, at least this is good, uh, end game lessons here Uh, five losses in a row. Ooh, that's rough. Pretty rough. Now he's just going to get two queens out of it. All right, yep, that's it. Uh, it's frustrating. Man, I'm just losing game after game. So uh, that just came down to that bad bishop versus his good bishop. Disappointing. I guess I have to hang in there and try and turn this slump around because it's awful. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll do a quick game review. Uh, well, yeah, when somebody plays 90.3% accuracy, it's hard to win against that unless you're playing in the 90s as well. So I played 84.7. Uh, and yeah, they just got a, a lead and just slowly increase their lead here. They had three great moves. Um, 
Now, they had seven inaccuracies. I only had four, but I had five mistakes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and then they played at a 2250 level. It looks like I played at a 2000 level, uh, but just not good enough. If somebody, you know, when a 1700 player is playing like a master, it's hard to win against that. <laughs> All right. Uh, the quick review, and then we'll do a little computer analysis. All right, so, uh, and in your own games, I know if you get frustrated because you're having a slump like this or you're playing bad, sometimes you don't even feel like doing a game review when you lose, but, I mean, it does help. Okay, here, uh, what did I do next? So, I don't know, these moves aren't bad. Yeah, this move was bad. Yeah, and then giving up my bishop pair, you know, that is probably where I first started to go wrong. This move is bad because he just blocks it and chases me away. Yeah, and then followed up by another bad move. Giving up my bishop pair was uh, not a smart idea. All right. Oh, and then castling was bad. I should have castled to the other side, apparently. Huh. Okay. Man, yeah, so just those three mistakes in a row really gave me a problem. And then now I block in my bishop, you know, creating a bad bishop. So that's not good. All right. Uh, let's see. If we go back to these mistakes, let me go back to this first one. What should I have done? Instead, looks like I should have brought the knight up, threatening a fork here. So... Then they should castle long. Huh. But if they do that, I mean, I could go after this pawn, but then they could go here. No, they can't go there. Uh, oh, they'll be attacking my bishop. So the bishop would be under attack. Well, hold on. If they castle long, it looks like black is in the lead. Um, I could go here, check... And then pick this off. Huh. Yeah, it shows that that's the best move. To go ahead and capture here. I don't know what this thing is doing now. It's doing something ridiculous. All right. So, yeah, it's saying I should go ahead and capture. Anyway, in this position, um, black would have a little bit of a lead. All right. On to the next mistake. So I should not have given up my bishop pair like that. Instead, I should have backed this other bishop up. So back bishop to e7 would, would have been better. So that didn't accomplish anything. And white is still you know having a slight edge here. And now they can move forward knight to c5. See, and then they want me to give this up. I mean, I guess if they did that, I could count. I can't even counterattack because uh, I guess I could. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's move on here instead of dragging this out. Capture. Okay. So that was a mistake. They wanted me to castle long instead. So castle over here. Um, hmm. So we go that way, but then they have b5. See, already I'm in trouble at this point. Okay, so, um, heck, this was supposed to be a review. Sorry about that. Let's finish the review and then we'll look at the analysis. All right. Um, I should have attacked his bishop up here at least you know if he captured i captured yeah the position would have been much better maybe except he could have captured here you know and i'd have to capture and he'd have a pawn majority i'd have to come over here and try and stop this pawn majority you know even though i'd have a pawn majority over here all right, moving on. See, I just let my bishop get closed in there. Too many bad moves. Now this knight move was not good. Apparently, I should have moved 
um, up this way, centralized my knight more. Huh. All right. Yeah, great move here. The king infiltrates into my position, and then I have this bad bishop. All right, even a you know, better move. So that was bad. Bad move right there. Hmm. Man, yeah, this is not good at all. Uh, it would have been better to centralize my bishop, apparently. Mm. Yeah, and I th think I was thinking about that because then I could go here, try and go after these pawns, I guess. Uh, yeah, now I'm lost here after that move. So I, I should have just resigned right there. But I thought I'd play and see if, you know, he fell into any, if I could get a stalemate out of it somehow. That's what I was trying for over here when he was promoting his uh, pieces. But, yeah, that was just awful. My middle game was bad, giving up my bishop pair and then letting my other bishop become bad, trapped by my own pawns. All right, well, um, we could put on the analysis, go back to the beginning here. So the Sicilian here, this is the open Sicilian. So you want to capture this pawn. That way they don't have two central pawns. They recapture, then you attack the other pawn that's unprotected. Uh, so they protect it with the knight. And now this is the Nidorf variation of the Sicilian defense where you play a6 to keep the knights and the bishop out of b5 um, and then you could also push forward maybe put your bishop on b7 uh, you know where it aims up through the king side all right so bishop to e2 you know we're still in book moves so i attack that way if they attack you know capture my knight i can just recapture and pull this pawn into the center. So they played pretty good in this uh, Sicilian. So, you know, apparently this is the best move, chasing that knight away, and they just retreat here. Uh, so this move is excellent, but bishop to e7 immediately would have been better. Um, now they create the battery, you know, possible queenside castling. And this was the best move. Uh, a lot of times, if you can push this D pawn up to D5, uh, then black is doing okay then. The game's pretty close now after this. Um, capture. Knight captures is best, so we just trade off. The queen capture is better. Uh, and so we just trade down material. Now I'm attacking this. Uh, so he blocks that. Apparently, he should have just castled to get his rooks out. Uh, and this was bad. So, yeah, knight to b4 apparently is better threatening the fork. Hmm. Yep. So, if I would have played that, I would have... I would have been ahead there. So that is the mistake. The first, you know, misstep in my plans... Um, and they're saying castling here is better. Um, or d3 and they give up the bishop pair. Then I just grab the bishop pair and leave them with an isolated pawn. You know, they're recommending that. But I don't know if that's best. Uh, it says it is. But now I capture with check so they can't take my bishop. Then king to b1. Now what? We just drop back. So we drop back. Rook up to d2, getting ready to double rooks. Now, bishop to e6. So we get ready to control this open file here. And then, knight here, attacking. 
Now what? Um, oh, bishop to a2 check. That's an interesting move. King to c1. Now rook to c8. Attacking and lining up here. Um, not, yeah, this would be hard to see in a game. All these uh, you know, moves giving up the pawn there. So we should ignore that. But it does kind of open the position up on the king. But see, now our bishop could be trapped here. Man. Knight to a5. They go there. They're getting ready to trap my bishop in. Um, knight to d5. Yeah, this, is, this would be... A little difficult to see all this. Maybe if we were playing a really long game and you could take a look at everything. Um, now what do they want? Okay, I, I'm not going to dig too deep into that. Let's move on here. So in the game, yeah, we just gave up these bishops. Not good. Um, yeah, and then it didn't like this castling. It wanted us to go to the other side. But... Man, I don't know about that. If we cast, it does put our rook in the middle, but the bishops are covering everything on this D file. So now we have B5, um, capture, bishop captures, attacking our knight. Um, king comes up to C7 to prevent uh, an attack here. Hmm. All right, king up to e2, connecting the rooks. Rook at h to e8. All right, I guess it centralizes. Lines up on the king. Um, bishop back to d3 to block the d file, I guess. Give you time to double the rooks up. So bishop to d6, we can do the same. Now, if they capture this h-pawn, we could go to g6 and try and trap the, excuse me, the bishop. All right, so fight for the d-file. Uh, we play g6 to limit the scope of the bishop. Um, b4, doing likewise to our bishop. And then, what, f5? So we just start pushing our pawn majority, apparently. All right, anyway, that is how we should have played. But even then, we're behind by the equivalent of one pawn there. So, back to the game. We just played horrible with our bishop pair. So that's a good example. You know, hold on to your bishop pair. Do not give your bishop pair up lightly. And then, you know, I thought, oh, if I trade down, I'll be able to hold the end game. But I did not play the end game so well compared to my opponent who you know, really played uh, pretty solid all right so they wanted us instead to play bishop to g5 and then the king should just come up and they don't recommend us capturing hmm I don't know if I'd want to play g6 because putting the pawns on the light squares could be a problem. Uh, but, you know, that's maybe a, a way for us to push f4 here. So now, what, bishop to d3, uh, you know, trying to stop us from pushing that pawn. So our king starts moving forward. Um, bishop to b6. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have gotten rid of one of the bishops and then tried to push up here and push this pawn forward. All right. Uh, let's finish this up. I'm going to wrap it up so the video doesn't stretch out forever. So we kind of you know, tried to maneuver here. Did we have any kind of chances? Uh, at this point, we're just behind by the equivalent of a pawn. 
Okay, so that was a good move, but now we're behind by almost two pawns because our knight is awful and this bishop is pretty awful. So those his bishop pair just really outplayed my bad bishop here. Yeah, see, especially once he infiltrates into the position. You know, now what? I have to back up here. I don't want to back my king away. Um, and then he comes in on this side. So here, bishop to d6 would have been better. Hmm. I thought about that, but then I thought, oh, he could just push. Well, if he pushed forward, that would close the position up. All right, so bishop to d6. Oh, now it's saying that capture is better. So we have that. Now I should have... Okay, they like that move. Um, and apparently... a uh, bad move there. I should have brought the bishop up. And then what? Um... Oh, man, I'm just kind of losing at this point. Um, what do they recommend now? Bishop to d4. Yeah, just going here. Now, I saw this position and I thought, well, what if I pick this pawn off? If he captured, then I pick this one off. So, if the king goes... All right, it's my turn. They want me to go up to g3. Oh, to try and move here and then here and protect these pawns. Ah, but he's still... Okay, what if I do that? Oh, well, he can go there. Then... What do I do? I go here. I have to go there. Then the bishop just goes back up to e5. Oh, man. Oh, they're saying that's a blunder because b4 can be played. Okay. Huh. All right, well, that's interesting. All right, so instead of that move, what is best? Uh, bishop to e5. Bishop to e5. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, it's kind of going on forever. So, yeah, once this happened, the game was over because then I can't get my pawn up there because of this promotion with check. So, yeah, that's just awful. Now, you know, all he has to do is just get rid of that and then eat up these pawns and promote. So, all right. Well, feel free to leave comments. Uh, like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and have a super chess day.